here with Mark Richardson and uh, Mark, we've done this a few times, uh, almost 13 in total, I guess. 13th year back with the Devils, pleased to be back in Cardiff. Yeah, it's great. Um, obviously, uh, as you say, been here a long time, but uh, as excited as ever to, uh, to play another season and um, just really looking forward to it. Talking about excitement, let's, uh, let's do GB first while it's still fresh in the brain. Talk to me about that experience and, and specifically, I suppose, you were on the uh, ice for that, uh, for that goal in overtime, the goal that really projected GB forward, uh, GB hockey forward uh, to, to, to a great degree. What, what was the whole atmosphere like throughout the tournament and, and when you came back to win that game against France? Um, obviously, uh, firstly, on, on the, the, the last game against France, um, you know, it was, it was such an amazing, amazing feeling. Um, you know, going three 0 down at any level in hockey is tough, but at that level is almost, I think, a lot of people would have thought impossible. And um, you know, that team just just showed again kind of what we're made of. And um, you know, to get it back to three three, and then, as you say, I, I didn't have to I didn't have to do much, just follow the play out. But to be on the ice and uh, you know um, to see Ben Davies score that goal and just be a part of that was just uh, absolutely amazing. But the uh, the whole experience of the tournament is, is something that obviously I'll, I'll never forget. Um, just rubbing shoulders with uh, some of those players and playing against those guys is, is just amazing. Um, I asked Ben Bounds uh, this question in, in his interview. Obviously, the Elite League is a high level now and you, you play CHL, but as a defenseman, any, anything sort of noticeably different that you have to refine in your game as, as you play against players at that level is... You know, has the gap control got to be a little bit stricter or, or your positioning as a whole? What, what, what did you have to sort of make tweaks on playing against players of that calibre? Uh, I mean, you try not to think too much about it. You know, you just try and, and play the way you always do. But I think um, it's just being, it's more so being quick. If you do get a chance to get the puck and move it, you have to be so quick or they'll just take it right off you and, uh, and you're stuck in your, in your own end for a long time. But yeah, as I say, I think you just try and, Try and play the same way, and um, you know you know you're playing against uh, very good players. They're going to make plays, and uh, you know as I say, just try and go about it the same way. So just finally on the GB subject, interested to get your take on on just where GB hockey is at the moment. It seems to be on a high. Obviously, the World Championships, uh, Elite League is great. There seems to be players coming through. Obviously, guys like Kieran Long and, and uh, Sam Duggan didn't make the trip this time, so so it looks to be potential coming through. What's your take on where GB hockey is? Well, I think it's in, you know, I mean, in my opinion, the best place it's, it's maybe ever been. And, you know, definitely for a long, long time, uh, as you say, to have, you know, guys like Kieran Long, you know, Sam Duggan not making the team, not being there and knowing that they're going to be knocking on the door and, and, and what have you is, is great because um, it's a little bit of a, an older team and, you know, these young guys are going to be the future. So, uh, you know, that's great. And obviously, as you say, I think that comes from you know the standard of the elite league right now and um, the presence you know that we've had in the CHL. Maybe last year, obviously, we didn't get the results we wanted, but we definitely had the the performances for the most part. And um, you know, I just hope that it continues to grow. And obviously, that you know us staying in in Pool A in the in the top division doesn't just you know happen for a few years and then it's forgotten about. Hopefully, this you know helps the development of of uh, young players as well as. Uh, you know the players that are kind of in the team at the moment. So let's uh, let's shift focus back to the Devils, and uh, I think I'm correct in saying the only player to play in all three rinks for the Cardiff Devils, the Wales National Ice Rink, the Big Blue Tent, and now the uh, the Viola Arena. When you signed for the Devils from uh, from Bracknell back in what was it 05 or 06 as a forward, could you ever envisage what was what was going to happen with with your career? No, I don't think you can. You know, when you when you're young and you just you don't know what's going to happen. But um, you know, it's been a great, great career playing in in Cardiff. Obviously, you know, I've loved every minute. Even those tough times. You know, I've uh, you know never had a year where I didn't enjoy. Um, you know, just playing in front of the fans and uh, whether it was in the the uh, Wales National Ice Rink or the Big Blue Tent or, or in our new facility here, it's uh, it's always been amazing. And um, you know, obviously, I hope I can. Keep it going for a while, yeah. So again, you, you, I'm not going to reveal your age. You're getting more towards veteran status now. What I'm interested in is uh, uh, your song is is uh, played in the ring when you're announced. It's taking care of business. You're Mr. Consistent. Um, 
But even now in the summer, what are you looking to work on? What are you looking to improve in, in, in terms of your game? Everything. I think, um, you know, as long as I'm playing, I'm just going to try and keep improving in every area I can. Um, you know, uh, I don't think that just because you're, you're getting older, you, you can't improve your, your all-round game. So as I try to do every summer, it'll just be the same thing this year. And uh, until I finish playing, just trying to, you know, work on every aspect of my game to be as good as I can. Um, watching as a fan last year, the, the, the start of last year, just, just want to get your take on it as I got Ben Bounds' take on it. Um, every defenseman that, that you play with raves about you uh, uh, as a partner. Was the start of last year a little difficult for you on two counts? You seem to be playing a little bit hurt, and, and also you were making that transition from not playing with Andrew Hotham. Yeah, um, obviously playing hurt never helps, but um, no, it was obviously, I had, uh, what was it, three, four great seasons there with uh, Andrew Hotham. He uh, was obviously such a good player and a uh, great D partner. Um, but no, I didn't find it too bad. It was just obviously a little bit different. Um, but yeah, in terms of adjusting, uh, you know, I feel like, you know, I play with different guys that, with the Great Britain, etc. So it wasn't, it wasn't too bad. But, um, you know, as I say, that partnership would, would have been nice if it could have continued. But uh, obviously, Arthur retired and uh, you have to get someone new. Well, for the second half of the season, that someone new was, was Gleason Fournier. And that, uh, that partnership seemed to really... Uh, bed down, uh, a nice relationship there. Obviously, he wants to jump into the play. Your great skating ability, you can go as well or you can cover him behind. Um, that partnership just going from strength to strength last year. Yeah, no, it was re really good fun playing with Fawns. Um, it was very similar to playing with Andrew Hotham. Sometimes I found myself just uh, kind of, you know, watching, uh, watching what he was going to do. But, um, no, I felt we had a very good partnership. You know, we were able to just talk to each other about different plays here and there. And, you um, try and help each other out and obviously as you say Fawns is skating ability he can be up and down the ice so you're never really you know hung out to dry he's always he's always back if he does go forward so no it was uh, it worked out really really good and um, you know obviously he had a, a great season himself and um, you know I'd like to think uh, I helped him a little bit but <laughs> sure he did he certainly said that at an awards night uh, when he won the elite uh, defenseman of the year other guy I'd like to ask you about, and I've mentioned him a few times, is Ben Bounds, because I always ask Ben about what it's like to play behind the, the six-man defense here at the Devils. He always tells uh, tells me that uh, you know it, it's just great chemistry, and, and then there's a great team defense in front of him. What's it like playing knowing that Ben Bounds is, is behind you? I'm not sure what his communication's like with that accent, but, but just in, in terms of uh, uh, the solidity he brings and the confidence he gives you. Yeah, Bounds, he shouts a lot there, but you know, uh, you get used to it, but he, um, no, he's he's obviously. Uh, I think when I look back to when he first came to Cardiff, he was you know young and um, you know kind of raw, and he's just improved year on year in different ways. He's always a good a good you know shot stopper, a good um, goalie, but he's just improved like you know every aspect, whether it be the mental side, the play in the puck, and he's just got better year on year. And um, you know, as a D man, you, is all you can really ask for is a. A solid goaltender behind you and they you know they don't come you know really as good as Bouncy so they, uh, it's great to play in front of him and uh, you always know that you've got a chance to win every night. And, and just finally Mark you know I know we've mentioned the fact you've been here at the Devils for, for a long time still much younger than me but uh, Andrew Lord always flags you up every year as the guy that comes back maybe in the best shape the, the, the best off-season workout uh, regime what keeps giving you that passion, that drive to, to, to do that and, and, and keep working harder to stay on top of your game? What 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 gives you the drive every morning to do that? Um, I just, you know, I, I love playing the game. And, and for me, it's a lot more enjoyable if you're, how would I say, in, you know, in the best shape you can be in. You know, you, you know you've worked hard on, on your game and, you know, you know you can go out just every night and, and play hockey. And um, as I say, like, I still love coming to practice, you know, whether it be working out, skating, you know, playing games, I still love all of it. So uh, it just keeps me going. And ready for the season ahead? Yep. Mark, uh, I think you'll give all Devils fans great confidence to see you back in the lineup. Welcome back to Cardiff. Thank you.